Let's prepare to hurt all through the cosmos. I am Captain Phil, and today we're going to be building rockets on Science Max. Now we've we've built rockets before, like this one, powered by air pressure. And this one, stomp rockets, which were also technically powered by air pressure. Air pressure rocket! But today, Science Maximites, we are going to be building rockets powered by chemistry! Chemical powered rockets! Away! Mm. Okay, I promise it'll be more exciting than that. Because today, Science Maximites, we are going to be looking at chemistry. Chemistry is when two molecules combine to make another molecule. Like magic, woo. So let's take a look at what will be powering our chemical rocket. This, it's an antacid tablet. When you put an antacid tablet in water, it makes little bubbles of carbon dioxide gas. This happens because of a reaction between two kinds of molecules called acids and bases, like vinegar and baking soda, but all contained in a small package that won't start working until you put it in water. If we contain the reaction, the carbon dioxide gas builds up and creates pressure. High five for science. All right, so let's look at our chemical powered rocket. What you need is one of these. This is a, this is a film canister. And ask your parents what that actually means because they're not used for holding film anymore. You can get these at craft stores though to hold paint or little things. But really all you need is a plastic container with a good lid that snaps on nice and tight and keeps the air in. And then of course what you need are your antacid tablets and a little bit of water. So pour in some water and then put in your antacid tablet and snap the lid on. Flip it over and wait for the carbon dioxide gas to build up, which will build up pressure, which will... Launch your rocket! Ha ha! So there you go, a chemical-powered rocket. 